Hello, everyone. So welcome to the Brand Accelerator training on brand architecture. So today I'm going to share what it is and why it's relevant to your business and how you can start thinking about your brand in these terms. So let's first start by explaining what is brand architecture, right? Because it's a term that you may not have heard of before. So in simple terms, brand architecture is like your family tree. It shows how your brand, sub-brands, and other offerings are organized and how they relate to each other. So think about a family tree. You've got the grandparents, the parents, the children, right? And it extends out. So we want to look at your brand in those terms. And I'll, I'll share some examples with you as well. Now, brand architecture helps you do quite a few things. It helps you increase brand awareness so you can show up consistently. It creates easily recognizable products or services. It allows you to leverage your parent brand to quickly launch new products and services to a warm audience. It makes better business strategy and growth decisions really easier for you because you've got this architecture set up and it helps you to clarify your messaging. It can even help with naming structures, which I'll get into uh, on another training. Now, here are some examples which, you know, visuals can really help. So my parent brand is Lab Creative. The children brands to Lab Creative's parent brand are my personal brand, as a speaker, an author, the founder, my face is very much a part of the brand. I've got Brand Camp, which is one of my programs. Obviously, Brand Accelerator is another. And then my book, Brand Chemistry. Now, no matter which I'm talking about, what you see, they all use the same colors, the same fonts, the same feel so that I can have one social channel and I can post about anything related to any of these things and they all fit together. They can all live alone. They can all be promoted separately, but ultimately I don't have to have 10 different social channels talking about 10 different things and cause that confusion with my audience around, is that Laura's thing or what is that? You're gonna see the book or you're gonna see Brand Camp or you're gonna see me in one of my you know, signature colors um, or floral prints and you're gonna know it's my brand. So this is another one, the, the road to seven, the parent brand is the road to seven. Sheila Cummins is the coach. She has her own personal brand within that. She's got the road to seven podcast, and then she's got all of her different programs and offerings, and all of them have an icon that ties into the logo so that whenever you see those, you're going to go, oh, that's the road to seven. So they all relate to each other. Revisionary is, you know, an, an amazing business. Um, and Celine here, she's got her personal brand. She is a big part of it. She's not the only part of the brand, the only coach inside this business. Um, but she is the main person right now in the voice and face of the business. She also has her podcast, Leading Through Crisis, from Revisionary. So you'll see there's a tie-in. It's got its own look and feel, but yet you can look at that and know that it belongs to or is related to the Revisionary brand. Now, this is something a little bit different. This, these are called sister brands. This is where you've got two different brands that can kind of live on their own. One isn't under the other. So we've got Randolph College for the Performing Arts and Randolph Kids Performing Arts. One is a post-secondary education, the other is kids programming. So these two actually have two separate social handles. They have um, two separate websites, although they link to each other. So whether you see Randolph College or Randolph Kids, you know that they're related to each other, but they have their own brand. The same goes for Charters Academy and Charters Method. Charters Academy for Restorative Pilates is for instructors. It is a program to train instructors in the Restorative Pilates Method of Charters Academy. Charters Method of Restorative Pilates is for the end users, the people that are actually wanting to learn Pilates. So you can see they each have their own color scheme, their own name, yet they have a shift in, uh, you know, that yet they look similar, right? They have a shift in the colors and the name, but 
you can tell that they belong together because of the style of the lettering and the layout, etc. So what this does is, is it really promotes consistency and consistency is key. Consistency between your parent and your children brands or your sister brands is key because it helps you influence the perception people have of your brand. It also helps you stay really organized internally for you or anyone working on your brand. And it really creates harmony between all of these various brands. Nothing feels jarring or disjointed in what you're creating and it all works together like a big happy family. So I would love to know what you're thinking about your own brand architecture. Do you have multiple things you want to create? Do you have programs? Do you have a podcast? Do you have, you know, a book or a speaking engagement? What is it that you want to create under either your parent brand or are there sister brands that you want to create? So I would love to get your questions or if you want feedback on something, feel free to post it in the group or come to the next office hours with any questions and we can dive a little bit deeper.